मिस्टर नीरज अग्रवाल मिस्टर अल्पेश शाह जी ऑल डिस्टिंग डिग्नेटरीज कलीग्स फ्रॉम इंडस्ट्री एंड ऑल माई डियर फ्रेंड्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम गिविंग माई स्पेशल बेस्ट विशेष फॉर दिस प्रोजेक्ट बिकॉज दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द कंट्री एंड फॉर द सोसाइटी एंड दिस इज द नीड ऑफ द आवर एंड दैट द रीजन आई एम गिविंग माई स्पेशल कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन टू बी सी जी फॉर सेटिंग अप दिस नॉलेज हब आई नो दैट प्रेजेंटली होल वर्ल्ड इज नाउ थिंकिंग अबाउट क्लाइमेट चेंज and as far as indian situation is concerned it is also the great challenges we have and that is the reason that where we need to have more concentration on this subject and the climate agenda is the highest priority for the government particularly my feeling is we are basically three important factors where we are considering the growth of our country not only economic growth but all type of growth where we are expecting to make india atmanirbhar bharat and vishwa guru for that reason three important pillars are very important one is ethics other is economy and third is ecology and environment regarding ethics our education system value based education system value based family system lot of people are working the universities the research centers are there and knowledge is the power the innovation entrepreneurship science technology research skilled and successful practices we name it as knowledge and conversion of knowledge into wealth is the future for that reason the economy is most important thing for the country because already swami vivekananda has already said that no philosophy can be taught to empty stomach and that is the most important reason that we need to find out the way by which to create more employment potential and by which we need to increase our per capita income growth rate and by which by increasing growth rate our mission is to eradicate the poverty and for that reason where we need to have more concentration on the rural agriculture and tribal sector which is socially economically educationally backward and this population actually that is exactly the need of indian economy to increase growth rate agriculture growth rate per capita income in this area and for that reason we need to have new technology new innovations new research by which we can create economic growth in the agriculture tribal and rural area that is very important for the country but at the same time when the growth is there we have to protect the environment and i feel that the ecology and environment is very very challenging issue for many years i am working on this subject and today you are giving priority for this i am really happy about it but first of all i will request you because you people are more expert because neither i am an engineer nor i am a scientist even i don't have too much background about the science and technology but i just received two doctorate two delits one is from punjab raw krushi university agriculture university another is from mahatma phule agriculture university from rahuri and that is because of my interest in agriculture science so basically agriculture is my passion and i am working in agriculture and and the area where i am represent from vidarbha where we have more than 10000 former society and that is the reason that exactly on the line climate change is also important at the same time economic growth is equally important but economic growth with pollution is not a good model for the country and somewhere i just talking to my additional secretary when the people like bcg is giving you the report you will implement but when i am telling you to implement you will be hesitant to implement it so that is the good thing because your credibility to your report is very important first of all we need to establish equilibrium between the ecology and environment and economic development and for that reason my first request to all of you to create value in the west one is conversion of knowledge into west knowledge into wealth 
and the other philosophy is west to wealth i am giving you a good example a successful example of mathura when i was water resources minister we have just go for a tender for hybrid annuity project for purification of water of mathura and the 80 mld of sludge we have going for that tender the triveni engineering was taken that and 80 mld of sludge is converted into clean water and that water is giving to indian oil for the refinery and they are giving 20 crore rupees per year for the getting that water royal as a royalty the project is completed and because of it was hybrid annuity the 40% of the investment is from the government and 60% from the private public partnership it's from trivin engineering first of all government has lot of problem and constraint about economic investment so first of all you need to concentrate on the issue that to create value in the west and it can possible because 80 mld of sludge is now converted into clean water which is used by indian oil it is to be a successful experiment before 7 to 8 years in nagpur a member of parliament of nagpur we have decided to sell that sewage water of nagpur and now we have taken jnrum at that time we have taken the low advantage of the scheme and now we are selling our water to maharashtra government for electricity generation of power in koradi and khaparkheda project for 4000 megawatt of power that water is used and we are getting 325 crore rupees royalty per year from the water so my suggestion is only the thing without value creation in the west no no that it cannot be possible to resolve this issue because all people are understanding the importance of economic viability and you need the appropriate vision with appropriate technology by economic viability you can convert west into wealth first of all proven technology that is very important availability of raw material then marketing is so important and economic viability for that is very important and today it can be possible lot of technology are available and for that reason you need to have innovative ideas innovative vision by which you can make economically viable project just take the example of hydrogen now we can make hydrogen from petroleum gas and other thing already there is a there was one in meeting there was hot discussion between the two ministers the minister was telling that the we can you can use this uh, uh, hydrogen from petroleum the other minister object why don't talk about that it's it's creating pollution so first of all black hydrogen from coal and the brown hydrogen from petroleum i don't want to make any comments on it but our priority is to make hydrogen green hydrogen and that is from the water and the basically you can make it because i don't have that much time but i my feeling is economic viability is there that uh, this uh, sewage water we can use we need solid waste management and liquid waste management system there and from solid waste management we need to segregate the solid waste here you get plastic metals then uh, organic material for that reason you need big uh, rooftop solar can be there and by which we can make energy green power from that and uh, 70% of the cost in green hydrogen is power my idea is i don't know whether it is possible to get green hydrogen with 70 rupees per kg 1 dollar per kg so it can be possible so electrolyzer cost is only uh, 1 crore 10 lakh something already i inaugurated the factory in the bangalore and 90% of production they are exporting to usa so it cannot be it's not a big technology so manufacturing electrolyzer is a simple thing water is available free of charge and the solar power is there so on the basis of that we can make this and uh, i also feel that if after that by make getting green hydrogen you need to compress it to 500 bars so the my request to use generator set not on diesel but it's on bio ethanol i am making follow up to kirloskar from many days 
and now just 20 days before he has given me a generator on 100% bioethanol to my house. So it is not a big technology. So ethanol rate is a 62 rupees per liter and a diesel 110 rupees. And ethanol is green fuel and diesel petrol you know the fossil fuels creating pollution. So the generator said it can be possible to get it. Kirloskar has already uh, invented that and there are many companies now it's time for government to make uh, mandatory for the people to convey uh, because I am dealing with this construction equipment manufacturers. I just suggest uh, this uh, JCB that you can make this uh, JCB on CNG, bio CNG and he just prepare one uh, JCB and I launched that. They are getting big order from Russia for that hybrid model. So even CNG is possible and we can get CNG from uh, biomass. Now it is a proven track that this Parali which is burned in the area of Haryana, Punjab and Uttar Pradesh, the Delhi is facing the problem of pollution. Now five ton of Parali is giving one ton of bio CNG or bio LNG. Because CNG is difficult to transport. So you can convert into bio LNG, then it can be easy to make that. Already I am making all the experiments. In Nagpur I have got all the things and we have one pass LNG pump, three CNG pump. We, I have my own tractor, I converted into CNG. Now we are in position to start five, six projects, making a bio LNG or bio CNG from rice straw. So five ton of rice straw, the pearl is giving one ton of bio CNG or bio LNG. So you can make the research and study economic viability of this project. This is 100% economically viable. And that is the reason the Indian oil has established one project in Panipat. And they are making from Parali 1 lakh liter of bioethanol per day and 150 ton of bio bitumen. Now presently we have 50 lakh ton of bitumen in India is available and 25 lakh ton of bitumen is import is there. So by making bio bitumen from biomass and making bioethanol, it can be really a great thing for the country economically we can save our imports. Even with the initiative, I am making follow-up for that. In Assam, we have a big uh, project that is conversion of bamboo in bioethanol. It is a second generation ethanol. The capital cost is very high. And that is the reason that we need to reduce the capital cost, interest cost and appropriate policy from the government side. First of all, these all projects are economically viable. Just one month before in Pune, I just inaugurated two projects making crude petrol from plastic and the rate of the, that petrol is 45 rupees per litre. It's good. You can use it. So my suggestion is deep, this type of different deep technology which are economically viable and which can protect our climate where we need to have changed the thing and where we can go to the people through the government facility and subsidies and incentives by which we can support them. The big problem in the in India and in the whole world is how to convert CO2 and there are a lot of people are working on it. Some of the people they are making methanol from CO2. In Assam we have started, already Dr. Saraswat is doing excellent job, I am always helping to him, that in Assam Petroleum we have a capacity of 100 ton of methanol per day. We are importing 30 lakh, no, 50 lakh ton of ammonium nitrate from abroad. We have shortage. And here we can make methanol and methanol can get even uh, ammonium nitrate and even we can make that uh, DNA, DME, dimethyl, dimethylenethyl. And it can in USA, the 20% is added in LPG by which we can reduce the cost of gas cylinder by 100 rupees. So it can be possible people like you can make the study of it and coal is available, low quality coal, where we can make it by coal gasification. Even we can go for urea. But now we have nano urea. So my suggestion is there are different uses are there. The first of all, my subject where it's touching to my heart, that this is mission to me. I want to see that day where the, there will be zero import of fossil fuel in the country. 
and that can be possible. It is difficult, but it can be possible because I am talking from 2004 when Bajpayee ji was Pradhan Mantri ji. But if I know that when the out-of-box ideas are there, it is difficult to convince the people. I know when there was a lot of meetings, some of the expert people from the automobile industry talking to, no, 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 it creates problem. There is a water. So it will create problem to the engine. It never, pro no problem to engine. Now the already TVS, Bajaj and Hero, they have flex engine fuel motorcycle are ready. Just three days before Venu Srinivasan was with me, I insist him that there are three pump, petrol pump, where 100% ethanol pump available in Pune. So I request you start your two-wheelers and auto rickshaw on 100% bioethanol uh, on Pune. I am giving the example. Just uh, in the discussion, it was known to me that in Russia, they have a research. And the caloric value of ethanol they are already with the research making 100% equal to the petrol. So I call Mr. Vaidya, Chairman of Indian Oil and Ram Kumar and the Minister Puriji. So, and I call the scientists also in India, I take the presentation, I tell them. Ram Kumar is a very good person, he's a good scientist. He's telling me, sir, uh, it's a good thing, but I feel it very difficult. So then I Gajar ki pungi hai, bachao, bajao, nahi to khalo, in bhej do inko wapas, but dek to lo. <laughs> so Faridabad, three months they have taken all the trials and now they certified that. That the caloric value of ethanol will be equal to petrol. So the average for ethanol and petrol will be same. So ethanol rate is 62 rupees, it's a green fuel and better fuel than the petrol. And then now it's the time we need to push the thing. Now the flex engine I requested Toyota, Hyundai, and uh, Suzuki, and all companies taking meeting and pursue them. You start flex engine. They tell sir, it's difficult. Then ask a straight question to them. You have your car in Brazil, Canada, and USA. The flex engine car is there. The technology is available. Why are you hesitating to start in India? What is the problem with you? So with my persuasion, now they are in position. And there was one car from Toyota, Cambry. I really thankful to Mr. Vikram Kirloskar, the chairman of Toyota in India. So he yes, said, no Vikram, you have to do it. Otherwise, I am not going to make any work for you. So he make it. <laughs> and now the, they have the technology. In the flex engine, the 100% ethanol will be there and that will generate 40% electricity. And by which probably, approximately, the rate of the petrol will be 40 rupees per liter. So now Toyota in next month, they are going to launch their flex engine, fuel engine. Even the Hero, TVS, everyone got the auto rickshaw. And we can stop this use of steel, uh, diesel and petrol in Gurgaon and Delhi and making the pollution. I remember when I was student in Delhi, there was, I worked properly calling that Dukkar. bullet chalti thi aur uske piche log jata So actually now ethanol can be fuel, which is economically cheaper pollution free, indigenous and what the most important advantage is ethanol is going to increase the agriculture growth in the country. We are making ethanol from molasses that is sea molasses that then we can make the ethanol from bee heavy molasses that conversion of 3% sugar into ethanol. Then we can now convert making ethanol from sugar cane juice. We can make ethanol from corn, then rice, broken rice, any food grain. I was struggling three years in the cabinet, giving permission for food grains. And everyone was annoyed. What you are talking? It is the war between fuel versus food. We have surplus rice, we have surplus wheat, we have surplus sugar, we have surplus corn. Even we are not in position to give them MSP. We don't have go down. Ultimately at the last, government decided, and now it is allowed that you can convert rice into bioethanol. So already the projects are going on. Now presently you understand the manufacturing capacity of ethanol in India is 450 crore liters. And if we add 10%, our requirement is 1000 crore liter, only for 20%. And if we can make 100%, then we need 4000 crore liter ethanol. Then we can add 15% ethanol in diesel. 
and now we are using generator set for this IT tower. We are using 4,000 crore liter of diesel, and easily we can convert that all generator into ethanol, where it is import substitute, cost effective, pollution free, and indigenous. And it's like I am talking about all the projects which are economically viable. So now the problem is ahead. The projects which are not economically viable because of green climate, we need to think on that line. And where one of the thing is very important, that public transport and this trolley bus, I am talking from many days with my people that for Delhi Mumbai Highway we can make e-highway. It's a simple technology. The cable is there. We can run truck, buses on that. But the problem is that we, they need government support. Now the government has decided to purchase 50,000 electric buses. Now this is the clear thing. In Mumbai, the best is running diesel buses. The cost per kilometer coming 110 rupees per kilometer. And our tender which, is which we are issued, the air conditioned bus for electric bus, which uh, length is 13 feet probably, or more than that. And that, that is 41 rupees per kilometer. And without AC is 39 rupees. So now here role, your role is important. We need to develop a model that without investing government money, how we can make this proposal economically viable. The London transport, there are nine operators are there. The bus belongs to operator, conductor belongs to corporation, and driver belongs to bus owner. The color is same, uniform is same, you never understand. The nine operators are there, and we can give them guarantee for 200 or 225 kilometers per day. It comes to 9,000 rupees. The private people will be run the bus. But the problem is, in the bus, there are two crucial parts. One is driver and other is conductor. Many of the drivers are very much happy for the diesel buses because you know the reason. After <laughs> selling diesel, they are getting money. And the conductors are happy because they don't need to give ticket to everybody. So I suggest them to make a model where people can use no money. It will be a card. So at the entry time on the bus, just driver said there will be card. And even when you want to leave the bus at the same time, he can use the card. That will be the system. 100% it's economically viable. So by which we can reduce the uh, problem of capital investment. Because by giving guarantee for five years, for 200 to 225 kilometers per day, the private people can invest the money. They will get the charge from that. And it is to be this all, I am the minister for transport ministry. Our all transport corporations are in big loss. And I say in the Majak, that in your corporation, the bus is going to be a bus. You go to the bus. And you sit on the bus. Now, I am a very important minister, so I am going to tell you this. But I am शायद मैं आपके इतना स्मार्ट इकोनॉमिकली नहीं समझा सकता हूँ अब आउट ऑफ बॉक्स आइडिया है सबको मैंने बोला कि तुम ये मॉडल करो अब धीरे धीरे लोग कर रहे हैं तो माय सजेशन इज पब्लिक ट्रांसपोर्ट अब रोप वे केबल कार फेनिकुलर रेलवे अब जैसे ऊपर जाना है जस्ट वी आर टेकिंग इट इट्स अननेसेसरी वी आर वेस्टिंग फ्यूएल एंड नाउ द इवन माई आइडिया वॉज टू मेक द दिस रोप वे ये दिस बस फ्रॉम स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम धोला कुआ टू uh, up to Manesar. And now we can take it up to the place where the we have started Mumbai Puna, Mumbai Delhi Express Highway. Big flyover we have just inaugurated that. What is the name of that place here in Gurgaon? We, uh? Sona. Sona. Sona ke pehle. So you, you can take that bus from here and here. You can go there. So now idea is to in uh, Vietnam the Doffel mayor has already started the, uh, this double-decker bus in the sky. The Doffel mayor and Puma are the two companies having lot of solutions. Even now, India, a lot of people are working. We have just started. This is very important. This is, can be a really economic viable project. Broad gauge metro. So making metro on broad gauge for public transport. In Nagpur, we have just completed it is a tremendous problem to me to clear the project. Now the railway ministry has clear. Next, after parliament session, we are going to make final agreement. And that is to be a very good project of 1,000 kilometer. 
the cost of the metro capital cost for the metro is 350 crore rupees per kilometer and my my metro is cost is 2 crore rupees per kilometer so i am using existing broadway nagpur to amravati then nagpur to chandrapur then nagpur to varsa nagpur to gondia nagpur to chinwada nagpur to ramtek and nagpur to baitul since 9 100 to 1000 even we have make a model that if railway don't want to invest the cost of the metro is eight eight rolling stock is there two for fruits vegetable and one business class and five economic class and the speed is 140 kilometer per hour and uh, from Nagpur to Amrauti the Mercedes gadi, car given take it 250 two and a half hour uh, now it will one one hour 20 minutes so this can be a good mass rapid transport is very important in india everyone is purchasing car we don't have place for parking creating pollution so this is the time for giving good comforts for public transport is the need of the hour and i feel that it can be really a, with economic viability and your technical research and study 100 percent it is viable Regarding the plantation also where I will request you, government is taking money from different governments, the forest minister. No one is asking them how much plantation you have completed. Because I am a part of the government, it will not be correct for me to make any comments on it. But now we have just in this year, the NHI purchase, because I insisted, you have to purchase three meter tree. So in uh, Raja Mundri, we have purchased uh, 80 lakhs tree of 3 meter height. I just confirmed it before coming here from my director in charge for that. And the cost was 75 rupees. And we have made the plantation of 6 lakh already at the same day. And my suggest to Forrest, you know, he is ready also for that. You can give me a good idea in making policy for that. That is of tree bank. We can plan, make the plantation. Even in Dwarka Express Highway, we have successfully implemented transplantation of 12,000 trees. Here, just five minutes from here. So it can be possible. So just like withdrawal system, if suppose I want to make same thing, anywhere cutting the tree, first of all, we will try for making transplantation. If it is not possible, we can make plantation. And if already in our bank, if there is a balance is there for one tree, transplantation, you give us punishment for ma making plantation of five trees. If the tree is cutting is there, then we can give the... Uh, fine for us to plant 10 trees so of 3 meter height we are ready for that and we can withdraw the balance so in that way I suggest to uh, Bupendra Yadoji that you should make the tree bank from railway for NHI other people and from area to area you give us the permission immediately now the problem is that the people who are not interested they never plantation of any tree they are the policy maker and they are guide us and we have to listen to them and the system is so complicated, it takes too much time. Even this Badrinath, Kedarnath, this Chardham project, the Supreme Court has clear that you can cut the tree. Still I have taken decision that no, no cutting. You have to make the transplantation of the tree. So we are really, it's a time for the country that waste land is available. And it can be a source. I am working from last many days from bamboo. Now in Indore, the crash barrier is approved by the government agency, which is in bamboo. Don't need use of steel. I'm very much against to the steel and cement. Inka bandi bajana. So if you have to make big alternatives, you can make the alternative is possible. Now you just go to Taj Singh. There is Machani's restaurant. It's totally bamboo, beautiful. You come to my office. I have three sofa sets completely making from bamboo. Beautiful furniture. Even in the Bangalore airport new is now they are working from bamboo. So bamboo is a material that Bhima bamboo from Karnataka is giving 200 ton of bamboo after two years per year. If the cost even you can make it bamboo, you can sell it. Bamboo is a grass. Actually it's an interesting story. I was making follow up to the prime minister and everybody that bamboo is a grass. But there was a lot of permission. Government was not allowing to cut the bamboo. So once morning I was fed up and I'm going to Modi ji. You call the meeting. As you call me. In the meeting I asked the forest officers 
only you tell me bamboo is tree or grass sir it's grass then you tell me is there is any permission for grass cutting no <laughs> the why are why are you giving trouble to the people you allow people because it's a grass then prime minister immediately tell them they take the decision issue the notification now there is no permission for cutting to bamboo so bamboo economy the china bamboo economy size is big they are making cloth from bamboo they are char from bamboo in construction they are using bamboo interior plywoods every kind we can make from bamboo and it is going to helpful for the rural economy for ecology and environment it is really very very useful so this type of new innovation new research which are protecting our ecology and environment with economic viability that is the first part and uh, from solid waste management to liquid waste management and the other important part is the fuel the fossil fuel is a big problem so now we have already in the process to make the alternative for that electric vehicles i am remember one of the giant from electric uh, automobile industry he just meet me and is telling me i am very sorry what the problem from last 4 years you are telling me about electric but we never expect that itna hoga ab we miss the bus i am sorry now i am happy that indian company is number 2 now the tata is number 2 and the people who are neglect the idea of electric vehicles they are now facing the problem i am really happy about it and all people are now purchasing electric scooter electric auto rickshaw electric car electric buses everywhere in the every city now it's it should be a common thing there is a waiting list for electric car now people are coming to me that out of turn please give us your letter to the company <laughs> that we will get the car so my feeling is electric ethanol methanol biodiesel bio lng bio cng we have to make all eco friendly alternatives for fossil fuel because it is ultimately going to save our climate the other important thing in the construction equipment already i have a lot of discussion with the manufacturers they are also working on that and i feel that in the due course of time now industry is also working in that line and we will get the result the only thing we need to have formulate the policy like you people who have expertise with the proven technology economic viability effective marketing and proven technology and the other part where the things are not economically viable where you people have to find out the solution that how we can make it with the low capital cost and minimum support from the government i feel that in construction in road construction in real estate in the west land in the mining sector the waste lands are there plantation of trees everywhere we can protect the ecology and environment of our country it is a big task i know that there are lot of problems but i was telling always to the people that there are some people who convert problems into opportunities and there are some people who convert opportunities into the problems so people like you with your expertise and economic viability with a professional attitude and approach if you can give it to the state government the municipal corporation for sustainable earth actually your mission is really good i am really supporting for all the initiative taken by you with your professional approach with economic viability and appropriate technology it can be a guide and philosophy for all the concerning government departments and it's really a good thing which you have start i am giving my special best wishes for taking this initiative i support this initiative and i am confident that these are all internal rate of return is good economic viability is good at least the first part we can protect our ecology and environment by economic viable projects and after second stage there are lot of initiative where you can use the technology by which we can make india and we can fulfill the dream of our prime minister for the zero carbon it's really a big challenge but it can be possible one thing which i will request you we need economic development and at the same time we need ecology and environment now the power is a problem in the next 4 or 5 years i am feeling that because i have i also green power project there will be a problem for power there is a cycle so banning thermal power project is not good for the economy 
but here you are you can make it that the carbon dioxide which is from that side is there is any value addition by which we can make some products from that so on co2 you have to coordinate the technology successful technology in the world and making it low cost and giving it to the industry where those who are creating a lot of pollution that can be also important because water power transport and communication without that we don't have industry without industry we don't have employment potential and without employment potential we cannot eradicate the poverty so making equilibrium between the ecology environment and development it is equally important eccentric approach for anything is not good for the country so really i am happy i am giving my all best wishes to for initiative thank you very much namaskar <laughs>